Hi everyone and welcome to the first portion of my three-part video on how I constructed Hector Escaton's hat from Westworld. I'm in the process of making Hector for my boyfriend and Dolores for myself. The hat was the only really daunting part for me as I've never made a cowboy hat before so I felt like I needed to take my subscribers along with me on my crafting journey. construction began by creating a lined mock-up out of wool felt. Western hats are made in either felt or leather, and starching wool felt can allow you to shape it similarly to leather. I used McCall's pattern M6975 as a base that I slightly altered. I widened the brim and took in the crown to better resemble the shape of the original hat. I had already sewn up the mock-up off-camera and brushed on a starch mixture using cornstarch and water over the stove and heated to just under a boil. My starch application is messy, and if this were an actual hat, I would thin out the starch with more water and apply it more evenly, but for the purpose of this mock-up, it worked fine. After I molded the mock-up into the proper shape and allowed it to dry, I fit it to my boyfriend's head and made some chalk mark adjustments. I seam ripped the mock-up apart and transfer any further adjustments with chalk. I had to minimize the crown a bit. I also cut out a secondary brim to lay as flat as possible on the leather I'm transferring the pattern to. I purchased two 1 4th inch thick hides from the Tandy Leather booth at DragonCon last year. On the suede side of the hide, I lay out the felt pieces as close as possible to conserve as much leather hide as I can and trace the pieces with a marker. If you are a vegan and prefer to avoid leather, I'd suggest trying a pre-printed western rose vinyl linked in the description box below. Or possibly making a foam hat lined in fabric, as foam retains shape from heat and can be tooled. The only pattern piece that I cut out twice is the brim. I also make sure to mark the center front and back via line tick marks to use as a guide for tooling and sewing. To cut out the pieces I either use an X-Acto blade, or in this case my rotary blade. When cutting leather you want to press firmly and try to keep a steady hand.
Try to stay within your guidelines and clean up any rough cuts. On the right side of the leather with pencil, I transfer the center front line, making sure not to press too hard to indent the leather. Now I'm ready to begin the tooling process. In order to decipher the pattern, I brought in a high-res photo into Photoshop, inverted it, and bumped up the posterize and contrast to better get a look at the pattern. I measured out the height and length of the crown, and from there I sketched out what I could see of the tooling. I had to wing a bit of the brim pattern and added in some traditional western rose and leaf tooling to fill in the unseen gaps. Part 2 of this series will show you how I transferred my drawings to be able to mirror the images and transfer them to the leather, as well as wet molding and the start of the sewing process. Stay tuned! And remember to follow me on all of these social media platforms to be able to keep up with my progress.